Hello. We've got a question today from Eljean, who's in Canberra at the moment. Yes, at the moment I'm in Canberra with my six-month tourist visa. My fiancé and I would like to get married in July. Now, if we're going to apply for a partner visa right away, can I work while waiting for this visa to be finalised? By the way, my tourist visa expires in November. Thanks a lot. No problem. OK, um... Yes, uh, you may certainly marry on a tourist visa and you may you are perfectly free to apply for a partner visa on shore while you're there. Now that is assuming your visa does not have a condition 8503 on it, which is a no further stay. Um, now, f uh, as I've explained before, ordinary tourist visas, we haven't seen an 8503 for a very, 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 very long time, so... It's not something we think about all that often. However, um, depending on what type of tourist visa you have, if you happen to have a family stream tourist visa, they automatically come with an 8503. That means you can't apply for another visa while you're there. So before you even think about this, have a look on your visa grant letter and it, under conditions, see if you see the numbers 8503. If they're not there, yes, you can apply. No problem. Okay, but the question regarding working, in time you can, yes, but you won't be able to do it straight away. Now, the reason for this is that when you apply for a substantive visa, now that means any visa other than a bridging visa, if you apply for a substantive visa while you are onshore in Australia, you will be issued with a bridging visa and if, if you are applying for a partner visa, that bridging visa will, uh, if it's a bridging visa A, it will allow you to work when the bridging visa is in, in effect. But the bridging visa will only come into effect when the tourist visa expires. So uh, this is one of the reasons why... You know, you're better off not having a six-month visa if that's what you're intending to do because it means uh, you will remain on that tourist visa with the conditions of the tourist visa, which means don't work. And for goodness sakes, don't risk it. It's not worth the risk. You get caught, somebody dobs you in, uh, you, you're in serious trouble. That's one of those conditions they t take very seriously, so don't breach that condition. So, yes, go ahead, get married. Uh, congratulations, hope everything goes well, um, but no, you're not going to be able to work until until November when that bridging visa cuts in. Okay, thank you. This video was brought to you by Down Under Visa, who specialise in visas for Australian Filipina couples. Please visit our website and complete a free visa assessment form. And please watch some of our, our other videos. Thank you.